Yo, yo, yo. So, we got some new ideas here for Record of the Day. Brother Val D got me the microphone. Got a webcam. So we're going to try this a little more professionally. So, hi. Record of the Day today is The Descent by Diesel Boy. And this is the Decoder remix. I'm a huge fan of Decoder. I'll make no secrets about it. And I want to do this justice, so that's why we're doing this a little more professionally. See if we can get it right. This is one of the earlier records in my Time to Drone Bass DJ. Um, had it in the collection for quite a while. Again, I'm not sure who purchased this, if it was myself or Mo Nichols or Zach or Johnny, who knows. It's been around though. This track is a real shining example of why Decoder is the absolute fucking man. Um, he just really knew how to make uh, just creepy, funky drum and bass, you know? It's a long tune, about eight minutes long. B side to this is Diesel Boy's original mix. And that's got a lot more energy to it. It's like a kind of hype kind of sound to it. This one does this weird kind of swooping thing. Like the descent, both sides of this have um, like screechy, almost like elongated stab noise. And the coder just makes it into something completely different. It's really interesting. Tune really takes its time, it's doing what it's gonna do to you as well. And I respect that. You know, now that I think about it, this may be the first decoder track I ever heard. Either this or uh, Daisy Age. When Dara played it on uh, Full Circle. But I identify with this style of decoder a little more than the Daisy Age style. You know, when he was really heavily featured on a lot of Diesel Boy's work. Um, just like that, like I said, that boom bat, funky, but dark style. Like, very, like, cyber funky. If that's even a thing. Right after this last loop right here, you'll start hearing the main focus of the song, like that, that low stabby noise, kind of starts to slowly filter up in the background. It even like hides behind the bass line, it's such a slow rise up. choice with it right here because this could get really hectic if, um, if that was the path he wanted to go but it doesn't it just swoops around the beat and it's a strange kind of funk to this check this out really 
changeover. Just the way he chose to use that that main focus, you know, almost like the hook of the track, and to make it non-aggressive, to make it somehow like very like funky little lightning stab. You know what I mean? Like it's such a unique little choice that he made. It's never been replicated. That way. Nobody else besides the coder could do that, in my opinion. Something that Growing Bass almost exclusively does feature, where it's just this how far can we push what funky sounds like, you know? Like, how far can we really take this idea? It's that least successful. Like, this is still funky, this is still something that has a groove to it. You know? That's part of the appeal, I think, always for me, especially when I first got into it. It was just the duality of it all, the nature of it was just so multifaceted. It had, uh, does, but it had a lot of things that just felt like they didn't go together, but somehow they did. It's a real chocolate and peanut butter of a genre, you know? I love that shit, man. Yeah. At least five or six years and I still know every single corner that some things you don't forget you know what I mean so that's gonna round it up I think uh, let me know if you guys have been watching this stuff for a little bit I know there's a couple of you that watch this every day and I appreciate that uh, let me know what you think about this new setup you know if, if it's weird seeing it on a webcam if you don't like the, the, the backgrounds and stuff this is like where I spin so you can see all the crap in the background that I've collected with Valuable records to me and fucking pop figures and whatever. But uh, it's a work in progress. I'm trying to figure out the best way to make it sound. You know, get get the tune across clear and get my voice across clear. Uh, I have to get used to holding a microphone. This is not a thing I do in my daily habits. So, But I'm going to keep working on it. And I hope its improvements are welcomed. So let me know what you guys think of it. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.